If you're dreaming of an exotic vacation, you don't have to go to the ends of the earth to find it. There are many hidden gems right here in the continental United States of America. Travel guru and host of The Travel Detective, Peter Greenberg, joins us from Justin Vineyards and Winery in Paso Robles, California. Good morning. Thank you for joining us, sir. And good morning. And you know, this is one of those hidden gems. I picked it out because of that. We're located midway between Los Angeles and San Francisco in the California Central Coast. Because when most people think wine in California, they go right to Napa, right? And nothing wrong with Napa except it can be a zoo and it can be overpriced. So you come here to a vineyard that's been around for 32 years, family owned and operated, and that's one of those hidden gems. It's just one of them, but it's, it's a good example. Great. Well, so what are some of your other favorite hidden gems? Well, the thing is you want to be a contrarian traveler. It's also when you travel, not just where you travel. You want to go off season. I'm a big fan of going to Paris in February, not in July, or to the Caribbean in July and not in February. And once you do that, it all opens up to you. And the way you find some of these hidden gems is not what you think. I go to the local newspapers' websites and see what they're reporting on, not what the tourist board is promoting, but what the local newspapers are reporting on to their own citizens. Those are the hidden gems that most people don't know about. Right. That's really smart. That's a great way to think about it. Well, so what type of activities do you recommend for a family visiting a new location? Well, the key here is, of course, how to pay for it. Uh, and every family's got a budget issue. I mean, believe it or not, I'm angry right now because I've got all these miles on the airlines and I can't redeem them. And you can't either. Uh, there, there are more unredeemed frequent flyer miles out there than there's currency in the world. How about that? Wow. So, and it's only going to get worse. As we all compete for fewer and fewer airline seats, we have all those consolidations and mergers. So start out with what credit card are you using to buy things with to accrue all these miles that you can't use. Go to a point system not just the mileage system affiliated with an airline because you're stuck in a vicious circle there. Uh, we found one card that's called Bank America Travel Rewards Card. You earn points, right? You've heard of cards that do that, but this is cool because it's instantaneous redemption because you use it to buy things that you would normally buy, you know, goods and services, hotels, airlines, right. groceries, whatever. And then when you get your bill at the end of the month, you've earned all those points. You just tell the B of A guys, hey, take those points, <laughs> apply it against my balance, and your debt just goes down. It's instantaneous. Oh, that's great. That's how you can afford travel. That's really smart. Well, of course, you hit it right on the head there. The, the, the question we all have is how can we vacation affordably? Exactly. And when you ask the question about families, here's what you do. If you got kids, be a contrarian again. Go against the grain. You might anger some educators here, but this is what my parents did with me. You go during the weeks that nobody is traveling, the week right after Thanksgiving, the week right after New Year's. And what you do is you go to your teachers, get them to cut a couple of extra credit assignments, plural assignments, with your kids, get them to work, take the kids out of school, and you will own that destination that first week after Thanksgiving or that first week after New Year's. It's a great opportunity for them to immerse themselves in the culture, for you not have to mortgage your house in the process, to have a great experience. It's a win-win for everybody. That's fantastic. And Peter, of course, your New Mexico fans can learn more travel tips by watching The Travel Detective Mondays 3 p.m. on PBS. Peter, thank you so much for your time, sir. You got it, man. Thanks. All right. Take care.